All right. Grab my coffee. Good morning. This has been a tricky video to film. We keep, <laughs> our batteries keep dying. So anyways, this is like, I don't know, attempt 12 or something like that. But we got our coffee. We got good batteries in the camera. We got our mic recording going. No more issues. All right. Today is a good morning for one and a good day to talk about immersive audio and the Atmos debate and all that you see on YouTube and everywhere else. And the never ending question of, is it worth it? I don't know. Could be. But, you know, for our space, we don't know yet. We're working on some, some things with that. Um, we've got Logic here, which we've had for a while, but Logic introduced the Atmos Immersive Renderer into their software. So you just hit like a button and it does everything and reroutes it all to the renderer and then to all your speakers. So I don't know. I haven't quite figured out if that's the way we're gonna go. Um, I do like the iPad app, which is handy for a second screen or something. I just need to like walk into the live room, hit, you know, I'm, especially when I'm recording myself, it is handy to have that be like, oh, here, here we go. Boom, done. But I don't know. It's it, the software is a little clunky to me. Um, still, like I grew up on Pro Tools. Logic's a little clunky because of I, working in Pro Tools. But I like Luna. Luna is like Pro Tools for me. And Luna is Universal Audio's recording software. If you don't know about it, it is a great piece of software. I will give it that. I absolutely love working in it. Um, I love mixing in it. I love doing. And they've even added um, a core audio option where you can, instead of using your Apollos to do the software, you can hit core audio and it sends out. Honestly, it still uses the outputs of your Apollos. It's just not using the processing, it's using a native processing um, into something. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to eventually try that core audio option into the Dolby app renderer. Cause the Dolby renderer will use your interface too. It'll use whatever you tell it to use as your audio interface. Um, I think that would be interesting to look at, look into. Um, but for right now, we're, it, we're gonna dabble in it. We've got all the renders, all the stuff to do it, but except for the speakers, and I will say um, there are some amazing packages out there. For us, we haven't quite figured out. We really love our Focal speakers. So if I do Atmos, it's going to be, or Immersive Audio, it's going to be, you know, with Focal speakers. So that's, that's a whole other thing in itself. So in the long run, you know, I think these speakers are great. I think Atmos is fantastic. Um, Immersive audio is great, but there's a lot of streaming services that are really starting to basically say, hey, to get on our playlist, you need to be Atmos immersive audio. Now, whether how much truth is in that pudding, I'm not entirely sure, but that's just kind of what I'm hearing around the communities um, that I follow and, you know, I try to talk with. And, you know, is it worth it for a small studio like mine or someone who's starting up? I don't know. Honestly, I'd rather, if you're starting up, get into your software, get into whatever you decide to use, get into those concepts that make a great album and get a good handle on them. You know, get your compression, your EQ, your miking, you know, your instrumentation, your, if you're a musician, your musicianship, just to, you know, get into that and get that set right, because that's where it all starts. Um, and that's also another topic for another time. Um, I'm take a drink of coffee here because it's morning time. And it wouldn't be coffee time without it. So um, as I say that, I love the hardware that I use. I love the software that I use. I love Luna. Logic, I still I actually have someone who sent me stuff that I'm working in Logic right now. I tried to render it out. I can't figure out how to get Logic to render out the markers that I need. So I might do the first half of that that isn't marked correctly. And then the last half is all, I don't need markers because they say like, here's marker one. And then they do whatever they do. They actually say it in audio. It's for an audio um, presentation for, for something. Anyways, kind of like a voiceover. So anyways, Logic, Luna, Universal Audio, Immersive Audio, Atmos, this all gets kind of in a whirlwind. And that's how I feel about 
the this new technology. I feel like it's a whirlwind just spinning around. And when it settles, we'll figure out whether, you know, it sticks to the wall or not. Um, it's kind of that kind of thing. So if it works well, great. If it doesn't, that's also great, you know. Like, I'd like to see more of these types of, of things, these innovations keep coming out and keep being used. Um, will we use it? It's hard to say. I'd like to try. I've tried it in the past and that kind of, it kind of fell through on me because of the space I was in. And the space I'm in right now, I don't think I could do it accurately either. I'd have to add more acoustic treatment and more things to make this room a better Atmos room. Actually, we're going to do it anyways because we want to keep our room getting better. But it's just getting to a point where it's like, I don't know how much um, this will all take us down the road. But whether you should go down the road or not, I don't know. If you've got logic, dabble with it. It's kind of neat. The binaural stuff, especially if you've got AirPods, is kind of neat. Um, like, I've been messing around with some of the binaural stuff just with a stereo set of speakers. And it's kind of crazy. It's like, it, you still kind of hear that movement, you know, like it's around your head. Um, but honestly, when it comes down to it, like immersive audio will probably only ever stick in a studio setting a video setting, I, I don't ever see live audio ever going that route because one, it's really hard to do unless you're in a venue that has a good setup for it. Um, Cause if you're doing a venue that's immersive, you've got to acoustically treat the venue and then blah, blah. There's just so much that goes into the live audio aspect that I don't think will stick for immersive audio. Um, maybe it will, I don't know. It, it, it could, it could, but that could be 20 years down the road, who knows? It definitely won't be tomorrow, but, you know, now I could be wrong. It happens all the time. But, you know, I do find it interesting. People are starting to, like, record for Atmos and mix Atmos and, and immersive audio, you know, master for audio, immersive audio. And I think as a, if I were a mastering engineer, I'd be like, yeah, I'll do an immersive. Like, I'll get that, and you guys can send me your stems, and I will do the immersive mix. You know, I think that's kind of where we're headed for the bigger things, um, if you're a small time studio, you're probably not gonna jump into it because you probably don't have the clientele for it. I know I don't have the clientele that wants immersive audio. Um, not yet, at least. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I thoroughly enjoy talking about this. If you find these um, interesting, I could ramble on all day about it, but we're gonna cut it short here. For now, maybe I'll do a part two. Um, maybe I won't. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll kind of just see how it goes, how this video does. And if you guys want more on this content, this subject, you know, send us a link down in the comments um, or or a message even, you know, on our Instagram and Facebook pages. Like, hey, we love your video. You know, we don't blah, blah, blah. If or we hate it, don't do it again. You know, <laughs> it could go either way. So for those who um, have liked, subscribed, and watched our videos, thank you very much. Um, I have seen some demographics where people are watching our videos but are not subscribed yet. So um, hit that subscribe, hit the bell, hit the everything that you need to hit in order to get the notifications and likes and all that that we love to see. Um, and you know, have a fantastic day. Enjoy a cup of coffee or a cup of tea if you're into that. Um, and we'll see you all next time. So cheers.